axioms of rational choice axioms of rational choice we have basically three axioms of rational choice which are completeness transitivity and continuity completeness completeness is that if a and b are any two situations or two commodities an individual can always specify exactly one of these possibilities one of these following possibilities that either a is preferred to be that is commodity a or situation a is preferred to b or b is preferred to a or a and b are equally attractive so basically the idea of completeness is that the consumer is able to compare the goods he knows what he wants how much importance he gives to a particular commodity so he is aware of his preferences that whether a is preferred to b b is preferred to a or a and b are equally attractive so this is completeness now the transitivity transitivity is that if we have uh, these situations uh, like a is preferred to b and b is preferred to c so a should be preferred to c like a is more valuable than b and b is more valuable than c then transitivity implies that a should be more valuable than c it should not be that c is more valuable than a now we assume that the individual choices are internally consistent choices this is transitivity continuity continuity is that if a is preferred to b then situation suitably close to a must also be preferred to b that if i prefer a to b then if i am getting something that is like a just like a close to a not exactly equal to a but uh, somewhat close to a then i should prefer that option than b so this uh, continuity axiom is used to analyze individuals responses to relatively small changes in the income and prices like if there is particular uh, uh, particular amount that i have to pay for a and if somehow my income marginally changes it decreases marginally decreases and now i am not able to afford a so earlier i was preferring a to b so now i have option b to go for since my income is reduced but if i get some uh, some option that is just just close to a not exactly but close to a and it is available it could be purchased with my this new decreased income i'll go for that option that is close to a rather than going for b now given the assumptions the assumptions of completeness transitivity and continuity it is possible to show that people are able to rank in order all possible situations from least desirable to most desirable or from most desirable to least desirable they can rank these situations they can rank they can uh, rank their commodity preferences in order of references economists call this ranking the utility that is if a is preferred to b then the utility assigned to a exceeds the utility assigned to b which is denoted which can noted like u of a is more than u of b that is utility of a is more than utility of b utility rankings are ordinal in nature they record the relative desirability of commodity bundles that how much desirable a bundle is as compared to the other bundle like if a and b are two bundles then the rankings will tell that how much a is preferred to b so how much desirable is a as compared to b relatively desirable now because utility measures are not unique it makes no sense to consider how much more utility is gained from a than from b so it is of no use of looking at how much a is more preferred to b 
इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉसिबल टू कम्पेयर यूटिलिटीज बिटवीन पीपल सिंस यूटिलिटी इज जस्ट अ मेजर ऑफ सेटिसफेक्शन लेवल इट जस्ट टेल्स दैट हाउ मच सेटिसफेक्शन अ पर्सन इज गेटिंग फ्राम अ गुड सो नाउ एवरी वन हैव डिफरेंट टेस्ट एंड चॉइसिस सो दीज प्रेफरेंसेज मे डिफर सो इट इज़ इम्पॉसिबल टू कम्पेयर यूटिलिटीज बिटवीन पीपल बिकॉज एवरीबडी हैव डिफरेंट टेस्ट फॉर एवरी थिंग लाइक इफ दे आर टू गुड्स एंड बी समबडी माइट प्रेफर ए and somebody may like b or c good anything and if there is only single commodity a then someone may pre- uh, like a and someone may not like a so we cannot compare these things another reason we cannot compare the utilities is that utility is affected by the consumption of physical commodities psychological attitude peer group pressure personal experiences and general cultural environment there are many determinants that uh, affect utilities like there are many psychological determinants many psychological factors also that affect utility that person receives from a good so we cannot measure it now economists generally devote attention to quantifiable options only the measurable ones while holding constant the other things that affect utility like there are these other factors maybe uh, psychological factors or other factors so economists don't consider them they consider those as constant and devoted attention to quantifiable ones so this is sitter's peribus assumption now assume that an individual must choose among consumption goods x1 x2 xn these are the goods which are available for the consumption the individual's ranking can be shown by a utility function of the form utility is equal to u of x1 x2 xn and other things so basically x1 x2 xn are these goods available for consumption and other, other things are all the other things uh, that uh, are expect, uh, impacting that are affecting the utility of the person this function is unique up to an order preserving transformation now in the utility function the axes are assumed to be goods and more is preferred to less obviously more is preferred to less as in the figure we have this bundle x star y star okay x star y star are the quantities of uh, x and y which are available at this particular level point x star and y star now these blue line area this blue line area is more preferred to x star and y star since it has more of both x and y all the bundles in this area are having more quantity of x and y both and similarly this white blank area is worse than x star y star since it have less of both x and y so since more is preferred than less so everyone will choose x star y star over this blank area and would choose any bundle available in this blue line area over x star and y star